state sanctioned torture is justifiable in exceptional circumstances. I will start with some definitions. So, what kind of torture uh, or who will make decisions that who is suspected of terrorism? Uh, we think that in cooperation with secret service and security service, and these both uh, things should, uh, in cooperation, should work on, on, on this situation. Then, what kind of torture? Uh, we don't exactly. We don't want to kill someone. Uh, we don't want to make. Uh, we don't want to have permanent physical damage on someone. And we are torturing just because of information which could help us. And, and uh, there have to be some third person, like a medic or, or some doctor, like for example Red Cross, which should which should hold the whole situation. And, and the third, exceptional circumstances. Uh, these are the situations when someone put lives uh, at stake, in danger, with non-discriminative use of power and uh, with some specific purpose, or like religious purpose or political belief. Uh, religious belief, sorry. Okay. And, and now, crime is involving, ladies and gentlemen, and I think our methods to fight against crime should be involving too, and should become more effective, should be more useful. And now we don't have any organizations, any effective tool to fight against terrorism. And therefore we think it's needed to, to have something to fight effectively against terrorism. And for example, I will show you a prohibition in the USA. There was a new type of crime when uh, there was organized, organized crime, I think. Uh, and they created FBI, which was uh, which was specified for, for uh, which was created to fight against mafia and had uh, tools to fight against mafia. And we think that the situation here is more worse because mafia didn't kill innocent people, which terrorists want to kill, and terrorists want to change something in state, change, want to they want to change system, state system, and therefore they are as tool they are using killing innocent people. And we, as state, have to protect them. And they are so terrorists are attacking the state. And if they want to, pro and if we want to protect them, we have to, we have to use some, we have to create something and to protect them. And, and we uh, have to use some, some tool to them, like torture. And uh, some other dif uh, difference between mafia and terrorism. Mafia didn't want to change the state system. They, didn't, they were uh, for they were uh, living on state, and they didn't kill innocent people. Okay. Our second, so this works. The first argument, new type of crime. And I will uh, go next on second argument, which is saving lives. Okay. So uh, we can torture someone, and we will gain some informations, which can. So, which can solve some problems, like we, we can avoid uh, terrorist attacks, and therefore we can save some, and therefore we can save lives. Uh, for example, library tower. We coached man who prepared 1911 in Queens. Uh, his name is Khal Sheikh Mohammed, and uh, we tortured him. And finally, we get some informations which could avoid uh, attack on library tower. Therefore, we saved a lot of lives. Um, and why is it legitimate to torture uh, someone just because of saving another lives? Firstly, we can we, we if we can save lives, why wouldn't we do it? And, and if we wouldn't torture someone, the chance to gain information is much um, much smaller. Um, it's very likely to gain information which can help us by by torturing someone. <coughs> Uh, it's kind of the same model as protect and uh, as self uh, protecting. You know, when a state, uh, the main purpose of state is to care about his citizens, is to care about his people. And when someone want to, like terrorists, want to kill people, want to kill innocent people, we the purpose of state is to to protect them. And therefore, he has to use every to every effective tool to, to protect their lives. And therefore we think that's, that the, this is the right way how, how we should do it. And one another uh, example is from uh, Algeria. 
Algeria. Uh, when we uh, when we tortured uh, from Frank, wait a second. Okay. Uh, the, battle, the battle of Algeria in 1956. Uh, there were uh, gen there were some FLN. So National Libertation Front, which uh, which became a terrorist organization, and they uh, were killing many innocent lives by, for example, bombing attacks and something like that. And in 1957, uh, Jane Massou, uh, with in cooperation with the French government, uh, began uh, counter uh, counter terrorist uh, organization against this uh, National Libertation Front. And by by torturing the members of this organization, they had information, and they in seven months uh, they shut down this organization. So in here we can see the right uh, the right effectivity of torture, and therefore I beg you to vote for proposition. First of all, is it legal under international law? Well, torture? Uh, no, but in exceptional circumstances, for example, saving a lot of lives, it is. And for example, we are yes, we are breaking human rights by torture. But here, in some prison or jail, uh, there is two breaking human rights. In normal prison, there is real breaking human rights. It's a uh, human right of movement. You, they, they have to stay in one prison, they have to stay in one place. So we think that it wouldn't be wrong. But can you compare that treatment in a prison with yeah, torture? As I said, it's not comparable. Not yeah, as there I said in my speech. Just, yeah. you're just, uh, you just said you yeah. are against human rights. Okay, can I answer your question? Okay, we are against terrorism and we want to fight against terrorism. And we, as I said, we don't want to kill this person. We don't want to have uh, physical uh, physical damage on this person. And there will be some third person. So I think it's quite uh, uh, safe for. But torture implies hurting people physically okay. and mentally. Okay. And how are you? Was I? You just I will, said I will tell there was no. For example, waterboarding. Waterboarding effectively. Uh, torture uh, is effectively torture. Um, wait, yeah. But do, don't you think a physical or mental torture can give uh, psychological torture for life? Uh, of course, but but I know that torture is is bad. But if we can save a lot of lives, I think it's the bigger benefit. And if you wouldn't torture, the chance to have information is zero. But how reliable is information if a person under any kind of torture will say anything for it to stop? How reliable is your information? What happens if the information is not reliable and you think you got the right information in your app? Yeah. And what yeah. if a war starts about that? What would not start because of that? Why? Firstly, because we are protecting ourselves, it's self-defense, and uh, if you kill the citizen of another country, but yes, but he, and no, no, I, I don't want to kill them. Well, As I said, torture in definition. You, you I don't want to have a physical damage on, on their body. I, for example, waterboarding. Waterboarding is safe torture, uh, safe torture. Yeah, but we don't want to kill him, and there will be a third person. Yes, and. If someone, and, and sorry, but if someone tell me that uh, terrorists from other country want to kill innocent lives in my country, I, I would, I have to purpose protect my, my. What did you say? Innocent. <coughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Kovac, you have the floor. Because it is, it is, um, 
and even humankind. If you are tortured, all your fundamental rights will be corrupted. Therefore, sorry, therefore, torture attempts even therefore torture attempts of the way you will feel. How do you feel? You can imagine having no constitutional warranties? Can you imagine not having a way to stop the state coercion against you? Our second argument is that torture does not uh, rehabilitate or prevent criminals to make a crime. It only gives them feelings of hurt, hate, and revenge. For example, when Mala has suffered from a uh, civil law in, 99, in, 90, in 1992, we signed peace. The revenge and her feelings are a gap that has formed even nowadays. Our people can't forget what happened. They want revenge. So, the gap isn't going uh, closer. It is going, uh, every time it is going higher, uh, uh, bigger and bigger and bigger. Don't you think the benefit of, of not having terrorism in our 
country is bigger than one, than the people wanting revenge, even though they won't actually revenge. Modern criminal law uh, seeks for prevention and rehabilitation. So by sending uh, terrorists to uh, jails, the pursuit will be to rehabilitate them, like to give them. Uh, yes, I understand. But don't you think they will they will want revenge too? No, because they will be treated like a uh, human being.
the agents of CIA. This is the proof that, this, that uh, uh, torture is effective. Uh, uh, no, uh, they can hold su such a uh, uh, such a how to say. Uh, uh, they don't. They don't. Uh, they can't hold such a pressure for a very long time, uh, and uh, they they would give us the information we need. But we, as a human society, wouldn't uh, leave any uh, permanent physical damage. Thank you for your attention.
I will, I will uh, promote, for example, a torture in the medieval times where we don't have a, 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 a law system where people is not like their understanding is not developed as, as now, even though many people think he deserves no human treatment. But we are supposed to give it uh, to, to, to them, to, to this guy, because it's part of our nature to treat humans as humans with, 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 with dignity. Because if something can define a human being, it's their dignity. Okay, now another example would be if what if a victim of this torture, uh, what if a victim of, uh, of this torture is tortured by government? I mean, what if a victim is, is what if a person is victim of uh, state tor torture? Is, and he certainly doesn't know the answer the state is waiting. I mean, he doesn't know the answer uh, for the, the, that they are waiting. The ones who are torturing him, he doesn't know that answer. What happens if he doesn't know that answer? What happens if, if he doesn't know if he wasn't there? What happens if uh, it's not him the one they were looking for? What happens if they confuse? Could that be proven? I'm asking if, if that could be proven. If he can prove that? Okay, Abu Ghraib, it's a prison, it was a prison that was closed in Iraq and uh, the United States tortured people there and when they closed the prison, they, they declared that 80% of the person that they tortured were, um, were not guilty. So that can say that this is not something that works. That this can say that this, this civilization that is Develop doesn't need to, to to use this type of resources. And another question would be that would government believe this? Would government believe him while he was he's saying that he's not is not him the one they are looking? That he doesn't have the answer they are searching. Would government believe that? Even though it's true. Can you please imagine that moment when, when this guy is is in, in, in a crisis, for example, and he needs the answer. Do you think this guy is, is to stop? Like, torture this, this person? He won't stop because he knows that he's defending a, he, his nation, his people. But this doesn't give him the right to, to, to torture this person, to do as he wish. He cannot go over the, the right people. And so, and a last example would be, um, no, me, me. Okay, this is the reason why we and everybody should not support state torture. We should go against this because it's not fair. What, what happened if you are the one who, who is being, being... Okay, what happened if you are close to the people they are looking for? You, you were there. Only because, because of your love, for example, you were there. And they ask you, hey, who were, who were the, these people? And they know you, these people know you, the, the, the new guys know you, and they know your family and told you, hey, if you open your mouth, mouth, we kill you all, we kill your family. What will you do? I wouldn't open my, my, my mouth. I wouldn't say the truth. Okay, so we should, we need to think about this. We need to consider the, 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 the accuracy of torture. We need to, to think as if we were the people. Thank you. Okay, so firstly I would like to ask you, did you say in your speech that if someone put a bomb in a car and the car explodes and kills some people, we will torture him? No. Because I, I heard it. That was a question. But if you think... Okay, so, do you think, really do you think that we will do this? Because I said in my speech that we will prevent by torturing. We will, it's not the punishment, it's prevent. We will torture him before he put the bomb in car and we will, we wouldn't kill him and, and we would save these people in the car. And, and if it's the exceptional circumstances. So, do you really think the same? Do you have the same point as before? Do you have the same point of view as this? What do you think?
think it's my point. Okay, because you said that if someone puts a bomb in a car and the car explodes and kills people, we will torture him. Do you really think that torture in this debate is kind of punishment or not? Kind of prevent the, the, the explode? In my speech, this was a question which I answered next to uh, the question and the answer was no. Because we are civilized people. Yeah, torture is not a of a civilized person. So, so you think this debate about, is about punishment of torture? No, no. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 okay, another question. Um, you said something like, if he opened his mouth, we will kill him mm -hmm. by torture. No, no. no. <laughs> I was, I was say, saying, something was that you were, you were close to this guy, for, for example, Osama Bin Laden, and you see his face, for example, nobody knows about him, and you know his name. So, it comes the, the United States and take him, but before he, they take him, uh, Osama Bin Laden told you, I'm going to kill you and all your family if you open your mouth. Okay, and, and okay, that's all.
to avoid bad things like bomb attacks. To avoid bomb attacks, we need to gain some information, and to gain some information, we unfortunately have to torture people suspected of terrorism. We have the examples when this worked in 1957, sorry, 1956 in Algeria, where a new terrorist group was, group was formed, and after seven months of unfortunately torturing a man from this group, um, France came to an end of this group. In 1995 in the Philippines, when Abdel Hakim Rab was arrested after, um, said after some bombs, after he made some bombs in his apartment, was tortured, and they found out that he had the plan to kill the Pope and to destroy the headquarters of the CIA. We must realize that even though we tortured this one person, we saved the Pope, we saved a symbol of, um, of people, and we saved the CIA headquarters. Also, in 2003, after the 9-11 in 2001, um, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was tortured, and after seven months of torture, um, um, we saved the library tower, the, the U.S. bank tower, because he wanted to destroy it, because he was a terrorist, and because we tortured him, the U.S. bank tower and, really, and thousands of people inside it, inside it was saved. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that um, after all these things that we have brought to you, <clears throat> you have realized that state sanctioned torture is justifiable in exceptional circumstances. Thank you. shouldn't be used in any case. It is evident that violence can't be brought to violence. It only creates wrench and hatred. Like someone said, eye for an eye and the world would go, so it would go blind. So don't you think torture is more likely to provoke backfire and cause more deaths in the long term? Don't you think there's a lot of hatred and anger against the US because of applying unethical methods of getting information? Also, most of the cases, the information wasn't re reliable, or the, the victims of torture were, were even, well, they were not guilty of any crime. You said that when, well, when you permit torture, uh, you're making human, human, humankind vulnerable, vulnerable. Torture is not applied to criminals, it's applied to suspects. So any of you could be suspects. Of, of, of being a, a, a terrorist, so you could receive torture for no reason. So that's why we think there shouldn't be, a, that we shouldn't apply any methods of torture. Behind, uh, besides, um, if the person, the, the victim of torture, he won't, he won't raise weapons, but the people back in his country may. What if we grab a leader, a leader for, of, of the country? And people create this hatred against that of, of the torture country because his leader is there. His leader has suffered for no reason, maybe. So there's a probability that they will raise weapons in the long term. So in the long term, you could take more lives than in the beginning. Um, you said that you were trying to apply. Um, Torture without making or, or uh, making any physical or mental damage, and uh, it is obvious that torture needs uh, physical or mental uh, damage. Uh, you need to apply mental or physical damage to be considered as tor torture. So uh, you are violating human rights from the beginning, and now there are international laws that protect, that ban torture, such as Article 2 from the U UN Convention Against Torture. This article says that there are no exceptional circumstances whatsoever where a state can use torture and not break its truly obligations. So that's why we think there should be any torture. Besides, allow me to suggest that the only reason we are having this discussion at all is because we have tortured people. It's a reality. We're living it. That's the problem with doing unreasonable acts. You spend the rest of your life trying to convince yourself that maybe they weren't so unreasonable, unreasonable at all. Remember it goes against
as human rights. It does not it does not promote liberty, and it's not a way to prevent and rehabilitate criminals. What it really does, as I said, it promotes hatred and revenge. That's why we are against torture. There is no humanity. There is no humanity without dignity.